I think while she is sort of underplaying her own Indian background and appearing to be a more multicultural candidate on the one side. And on the other side, uh, Donald Trump is quite clear. He's saying Hindus are being targeted and they are being tortured. And Joe Biden is doing a wrong thing. Kamala Harris is doing a wrong thing. If he becomes president, what will change? My question is, what will change if Trump becomes president from an Indian perspective, A, or from a Hindu perspective, B, compared to what will happen if Kamala Harris were to be the president? What would be the difference for India and secondly for the Hindu community in these two situations? Very clear. Uh, so uh, let's say for India, India foreign policy. Uh, I would like to uh, remind um, your people, uh, audience, uh, a statement by IDRW, India's defense research wing said when uh, Article 370 and 35 uh, Trump uh, were uh, removed, uh, they said Kamala Harris has some radical views on uh, Kashmir. India needs to be cautious. That was the statement from Raw. And now you ask what will be the difference between, uh, let's say, uh, United States under Trump towards uh, India, uh, yeah. Bharat, and uh, uh, and Indian Americans, uh, uh, Hindu Americans versus Kamala. Kamala's uh, view on Kashmir are well known. She is going to push, if she becomes the president, she is going to push India uh, in with this so-called uh, uh, religious minority uh, in, in uh, Kashmir. And she would want to uh, support uh, UN resolution. She would want to support uh, Pakistan, which uh, today is kind of a bankrupt nation, but it's a proxy for uh, for um, China. So, and, and you know, right now, uh, the biggest enemy of democracies, uh, United States and uh, uh, Bharat, is China. And they want to become the world power in 2049. Uh, they have declared it uh, uh, very clearly. Uh, they don't hide their agenda. Uh, in fact, uh, Arnab, I'm uh, writing a book, which is uh, Chinese Colonization of America. Okay. In 2049. That's their goal. That's what they want to do. Uh, and uh, unless we confront that, unless United States and India get together, uh, have like a free trade agreement, uh, one thing you could uh, expect uh, in the next four years uh, under Trump administration, uh, there will be a serious push towards a free trade agreement between United States and India. United States and India need to be joined at the hip, on the shoulder, should be all together like United States and UK used to be uh, as the, the second and the, uh, and the first and the second, probably we cannot overtake uh, Chinese economy, but first and the third economy together uh, to be able to compete with the China. Uh, Pakistan is a, is a smaller factor, uh, but they will keep on creating trouble. And, and China will uh, do its best to have trouble on our northern border, th from our western border. So they'll continue.